Um, now back to this asterisk, and it says here I've seen LSR use the synonym only. I'm sorry for only P slash intermediate routers. Uh, let's quickly jump back to this. So your your provider router is I even got it in here as an intermediate LSR. Your provider router is going to be an intermediate LSR. These two words are synonyms. So back to this, I've seen LSR used as synonym for only the P slash intermediate slash core routers. And I've seen that in some documentation. I don't like that because then, you know, I, I, I'm i using label switch router as the, you know, just the generic router that's running MPLS. So uh, if you see this type of definition where it says, you know, it's, the, it's defining it as only the routers that are doing the, uh, and I, I understand that to some point you know because that's that's a true label switch router because these guys the um, the provider routers the uh, intermediate routers like I said those are synonyms they're they're not doing pushes and pops generally except when you put pentultimate hot popping in there but that's a topic for a different day um, they're doing you know pure label switching so you know packet comes in has a label 16 packet goes out has label 17 swap 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 so I understand that use I'm not going to use that as the uh, definition, but just be aware that there are documents out there that do use that definition. Okay, so now well, before we go here, this sorry to be anal retentive on you, but that's misspelled. <laughs> it's been driving me nuts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, LSR terminology relationships. And um, so, like I said, with the asterisk, I'm using LSR as just the generic uh, router that's running. MPLS. So all these guys are LSRs. Uh, customer edge router generally, generally, 95% of the time, 99% of the time, I don't know, is not running MPLS. So just know that it could, if it is running MPLS, then it becomes an LSR under my definition. So you can see the an edge router, an edge LSR is, you know, that's that's a, a router that's on the edge of an MPLS network. Generally, that's going to be your provider edge router. Um, ingress router is uh, a router that has a label, or I'm sorry, packets coming in unlabeled, leaving labeled. Egress router is the opposite of that. Packets that come in labeled and leave unlabeled. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, those two terms are synonyms. So an ingress LSR is an imposing LSR. Imposing in this case does not mean, oh, it's a big mean router that can kick your ass. It just means it's doing a push operation. Egress routers are synonyms with disposing routers. And so those terms are all interchangeable. Um, intermediate router we'll get to in a second there. Those are those guys that are just doing pure uh, swaps. They're not doing pushes and pops. And hey, now we're back to it. Uh, let's hit provider edge router first. Provider edge router is the... Uh, provider's router that sits on the edge of the MPLS network and it's going to peer with the customer edge router uh, and then an intermediate LSR is the same thing as a provider or P router so I just thought I'd run over this slide before we jump into our network and PowerPoint willing here we go here's the network we're going to be taking a look at so basically this cloud is the uh, provider's uh, MPLS cloud so anything in you know R2, 3, 4, and 5, these are going to be provider routers. R1 and R6 are going to be customer routers in our um, scenario. Let's just say that this is, you know, Minneapolis and this is Atlanta. I don't know. But they're they're two different customer, they're the same customer, two different uh, locations. Okay, so let's get to labeling these guys. And here's our network, and here's our handy dandy little guide. Um, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is LSR. And remember, we're saying that uh, an LSR is uh, a router that is running MPLS. So if we're looking at this uh, network, which routers are going to be running MPLS? And it could be all of them, but like I said, most often you're not going to be running MPLS on your customer routers. So everything that's within this cloud, this MPLS cloud, is by definition an LSR. And that's just a very generic term for you know, a router that's using, that's running MPLS. So let's go ahead and label those guys. And see, we've got our LSR. So let's, uh, next, let's go to Edge LSR. This is a term you're not going to hear that much of either. Um, 
but it's it's a, a router that or I'm sorry a label switch router that sits at the edge of an MPLS network well which ones are these um, now these guys aren't really at the edge because they're not peering with anybody so it's going to be R2 and R5 and those are our edge LSRs again term not used that much and I don't have core LSR on here if that was the case then core LSR would be the same as uh, intermediate LSR and the provider router which we'll get to in a second here um, so now let's take a look at our next um, definition here our next term rather and we'll take them in order which will be the intermediate LSR and intermediate LSR just think swap these are routers that are doing pure um, label swapping they're not they're not dealing with uh, untagged packets and that's going to be your routers out here in the middle of your um, provider edge I'm sorry your provider network uh, so R3 and R4 will be your interme intermediate LSR uh, and now ingress LSR and egress LSR let's start with ingress LSR the thing to remember when you're dealing with uh, MPLS is that the path that the packet follows through the network is referred to as a label switched path LSP and LSPs are unidirectional so if you send a packet from R1 you know our, our Minneapolis router to R6 or Atlanta router that packets gonna go through the um, provider network and let's just say it goes to R2 it's going to get a, uh, a label pushed onto it and now it's gonna go to one of our intermediate or you know our, our provider our P routers we'll get to that in a second let's just say it goes to R3 you know we got some redundancy built in here but let's say it goes to R3 R3 does a swap R3 sends it to R5 and R5 says okay I'm the edge router let me go ahead and do a pop and for those of you who know about pentultimate hot popping or PHP we're working theory here of course PHP would probably occur up here uh, but again I digress so then it goes it, it pops that tag and sends it off to R6 Atlanta untagged so our, our LSP our label switch path would be R1 R2 R3 R5 R6 and that is unidirectional um, going back the other way we could take a different route we could take R6 R5 R4 R2 R1 that's just you know just showing that the the, the path that the uh, the packets take through the network is unidirectional it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take the same path back as it does forward now why did I babble on about all that the reason that is is because an ingress router is you know for for R1 this packet going into the the uh, provider network it's going to come in ingress R2 is going to be an ingress router for that it's it's receiving an untagged uh, packet and adding a label to it but on the other hand R5 does the same function for R6 so both of these are actually ingress routers and these guys are not ingress routers because they're getting labels and they're swapping so they're not they're not doing a uh, push operation so the routers that would do push operations be R2 and R5 and therefore we call those guys ingress LSRs and on the same note the uh, like I said with that LSP that we had that label switch path you can see that R5 is going to be an egress router for packets going to R6 R2 will be an egress router for packets going to R1 so oops I got ahead of myself there uh, so you know ingress egress generally your your uh, provider edge router is going to do both operations depending on the direction of the packets um, so now imposing LSR and disposing LSR and remember we said these are synonyms so anything that's an ingress LSR is going to also be an uh, imposing LSR and anything that is a disposing I'm sorry is an egress LSR is going to be a disposing LSR